whatever Let's you think. Let's bring out our okay. first. Uh, our first demo is Jason Dalvane, who's president and co-founder of SBL, and he's going to talk about the TV user experience reimagined with RDK. Come on out, Jason. I'm right here. There you are. See, <laughs> I, I wasn't even going to try to guess where you were coming from. <laughs> I just figured right. it out too. So tell us what we're going to see. All right. So um, we've been working um, with Comcast um, probably since early 2012, and. Uh, we um, basically focused on developing uh, around RDK. We took our application framework, wrapped it on RDK, and really focused on driving some rich user experiences uh, with great performance. And so what I'm going to show is really um, that today. All right, and tell us a little bit about your company too. What is SPL? So SPL is a software company. We basically provide uh, solutions for uh, pay TV operators and for smart TV vendors. And uh, our solutions really focus around uh, starting from HTML5 user experiences and uh, application frameworks on set-top boxes to some other sort of uh, server-based solutions. Okay, take it away. All right, so uh, we're seeing it up there, okay. <coughs> so what you see over here is, uh, you know, just your normal sort of uh, experience where the box comes up, you've got TV running, and uh, everything that you're going to actually see over here from a user experience standpoint is all done using HTML5. And it's running on a uh, Pace set-top box, um, which is pretty much an X side three type box, and um, and I've actually got a Xfinity remote control for all intents and purposes. So um, if we just go to um, you know an example of a guide. This is really this is a demo, and what we really wanted to do over here is is demonstrate what's possible. And uh, you know, someone in the industry basically said it's, it's really an artistic impression of what's possible with HTML5 on a box of this caliber. And so what we've done over here is really kind of uh, done a guide. It's, uh, it's image heavy. Uh, you've got your metadata on the left. You've got the channel numbers on the left. And what we really want to show over here is really the performance on something like this. So as you see, you've got all sorts of three-dimensional things happening, um, you know, probably over the top in some ways. Uh, but the speed uh, on this and the performance that we're able to actually get out of it is amazing. And uh, we use uh, HTML5 100% all sorts of interesting new sort of capabilities that HTML5 brings to the table and, uh, and then make sure that everything that we can do over here is remote and you can change this stuff anytime you want without any kind of firmware updates and that's really what RDK makes possible. So if you so were to do this without <coughs> RDK, what, what would be different? Like, uh, illustrate so, the, uh, the you know, I think it's really after. about the entire stack that yeah. we kind of put onto a box and uh, with RDK, uh, you know, th the long pole in the tent for any kind of set-top box porting has always been porting across various different set-top boxes that have proprietary set-top box stacks. And what RDK allows us to do is sort of level that playing field. And as long as the box has that, we can take the application platform now and just move it across boxes as quickly as we can. The other thing that RDK also does is it's an open community and it's open source for all intents and purposes. So there's a level of transparency that we're able to gain and optimize and move things forward that you're not able to gain when you've got opaque stacks that come from different vendors. Jason, you mentioned uh, performance as being one of the key aspects of the demo that you put together here. Yeah. How are you seeing the performance of the RDK? Um, it's great. So, I mean, this is what we've done over here is really about using some of those things and, uh, and optimizing a lot of pieces that we can because we've got control <laughs> over that together with you guys. And so we're able to sort of really accomplish some pretty wonderful things with this, uh, with this demonstration. And I can show you one more um, quick okay. sort of... Um, demo here, which um, will give you a better appreciation of uh, the kind of thing. I mean, there's lots of things that we can, uh, we can certainly show on this, but um, one specific... Uh you know, there are a lot of operators that are looking for something just like this. Is this, is this like, are you selling this, or is, is this just Yeah, a absolutely. Demo? So okay. we, we'll package the entire thing together. Yeah. It was great to see the X2 yesterday, okay. and, uh, you know, Comcast has done a great job on that. I'm not sure a lot of other operators can, and... Uh, and really we feel like um, we can really help a lot of operators get there yeah. and, uh, and do it around the RDK platform so we can get there across multiple boxes quickly and really save a lot of time to market. All right. So here, here's a video wall, again, um, sort of a little bit over the top in terms of the kind of animations and things that we're using over here. Um, what you've got over here is really movies that are loaded, posters, um, metadata that's done it with HTML overlaying the posters. Um, I don't think you can actually see it back there, but there may be video. 
But what you see here is you know, some pretty cool things that we can accomplish. Again, all of this stuff is done using HTML code. There's no native code in this whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, seeing some of the demos, people will usually go <coughs> one by one and things like that. And I, my, my test of any user experience always is you know, something I call turbo mode, which is you know, what happens when you hold the key down? Does the box actually keep up? Does the entire stack from top to bottom actually keep up? And so, you know, when you do something like that, let go of the keyboard. I'm about to have an epileptic yeah, that's, performance that's 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 second to none. <laughs> that's a good movie picking app right there. Just go as fast as you can and, and then stop. Stops. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a game, right? Yeah, I kind of <laughs> like that. That's kind of good. So when did you start around. working? When did you first start working with the RDK? Um, so we, uh, it was around uh, April or May 2012. Okay. And uh, we actually built around an application stack around all those different things. And then, um, really, there was a lot of pieces that we wanted to bring to the table um, in terms of the feature and application functionality. And the nice thing about it is that that's where we could focus. We need to go focus on all the set-top box layer, which yeah. was already there. And certainly, our approach has been, um, you know, try to leverage as much work that's being done in the community. So we're just focused on innovating around the application layer, and for all those purposes, trying to get customers what you guys have been able to do with X2 but making that happen for everybody in the industry by leveraging the work that's being done around the community. I, I think that's a really great point, right? You're, you're leveraging work that the community is doing to make this work across yeah. a broad variety of set-top boxes and then really right. focusing on what you do well, which is the application frameworks. That's right, exactly. Very good. Exactly. All right, yeah. thank you, Jason. Jason, right. thank very, you very good. Nice. Thanks, guys.